Okay, so on a scale of one to ten, where one is coolant all over the bilge and ten is not a drop in the bilge, <laughs> how did we do? Moving on from the tip X of last week's episode, this week's top tip is to have some clear nail varnish on board. Because uh, if you're blind as a bat like we are, and drunk as a newt, <laughs> drunk, drunk as a skunk, drunk as a skunk, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Anyway, um, Beverly's just marked up the jug so that she can see the marks. The photo glasses. Um, uh, and then uh, once we've marked it up, Tipex over the top. Oh yeah. Not Tipex, this is nail varnish. It's clear nail varnish. You're clearly drunk as a skunk. Tipex was last week's tip. <laughs> Shall I put coffee on? Brilliant idea. our ducks in line uh, so that we can actually do some sailing and our first duck that's got to go is uh, cleaning up the chart table because there's no way we can go to sea with that amount of stuff and there's a duck on the chart table or there was well there was it's uh, just in front of me whoa looks like a disaster zone well this is the back berth and that's just from one white of the vinyl here. Hang on. Yeah, this is just the back berth, and that's just one wipe of the vinyl here. And that's the second cup, second wipe, because these were the first. Have we, have we ever cleaned this room before? Of course we have. But it's just the fact that we've not been in here. We've just had um, all our tools and everything in here. So um, we're going to be putting the tools away because um, they normally live in the V-Birth so this is a good opportunity to clean in here and basically just get the place ship shape in Bristol fashion <laughs> to doing the project that needed the white fabric um, but um, I've just run out of time and more importantly I've run out of cotton. Well there goes the sewing machine all packed up. Yeah absolutely but it has a little place just here right in the middle of the boat and it does not want to go in. <laughs> You've overstuffed it haven't you? I have actually, I think I know what it is. I've, it's because I moved one of my buy boxes. That'll teach you. It's obviously critical as to where it goes. Yes, it's in. Hooray! Sewing machine away. Tool bags next, Bev. What? That one that's hidden down there in behind the uh, seal? Yeah, that's the one. I'm sure you can do it. Oh, God. One of the uh, problems of uh, bringing land goods onto a boat is um, my sister got me this lovely tool belt. Um, but the problem is all the rivets are rusting now. Um, but the worst case is this lovely drill set that uh, one of our subscribers gave to us. Um, and as you can see, it's just completely rusted and all the paint, it's just coming off in flakes. So that'll need some treatment. Yes, but we now know what we're going to do with it. Um, 
you know, just a little quick job and we'll get it sorted. Well, this is the little box finished with Galvi spray and um, hopefully it'll do all right. Put it like this, no matter how it works out, it's better than it was with paint all over it. I see the liaison officer's hard at it again. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, um, but uh, this is going to be a tiny bit more extra storage. Um, uh, we'll this way. We're over here. So, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like much, but it's going to be a little bit of extra storage um, because we'll be able to store, say, um, the seals, the hatch covers, the hatch covers, and a few other little bits and pieces like the computers under passage. Um, I've just got to put another case. Um, cord on so that um, it actually makes kind of like a bag um, and um, when it's not that it'll be Prudence's TV. Prudence's TV? Yeah come on she's gonna love fish TV. Oh lord. I'll tell you now mm -hmm. the camera does not show how pink that coolant is. I know I just love the fact that there's something in our engine that's truly girl power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why do we have pink goo? Um, this is uh, the coolant. We're actually going to use this to flush um, our coolant through because um, you're not supposed to mix coolants. And we've got a little bit of one and a full one of the other. So what we've decided to do with this one is empty the coolant and then we'll flush with this um, and then we'll put the new coolant in but yeah girl power yep yeah, could be the next one's lime green I've no idea but the thing is I just love the fact that this is pink well Bev and I are going to change the coolant and if you want to um, watch um, another channel go through the coolant in absolute detail then we'll put a link to um, Chino G um over here but that's not Bev and I's way we'll just sort of give you the highlights and um yep coolant is on our list so what are the tasks we have to do um basically um there's two different ways that you can empty the engine uh, of coolant um there's a nut um which is on, over on this side the impossible to get to nut yeah the impossible to get to nut or you can remove um a uh, pipe which is at, the, at least at the front of the engine but obviously to remove that you've got to remove the fan belt but we've got decided to go for the um uh, pipe method purely because of access more than anything else um, you know we've got access plus of course what we can do with the pipe is we can um, put it straight into a can which we can then dispose of so to us that just sounds logical still wearing the blue gloves though absolutely I wouldn't because uh, um, the chemical um, Bev's much better at chemical names than me Ty oh it's probably we don't know but it's probably ethylene glycol ethylene glycol um anyway not good stuff <laughs> so definitely have your hands ha gloves handy some unscrupulous people years ago um diluted wine with ethylene glycol and then tried to refine it and a lot of people went blind right definitely not good stuff so uh i'm glad um so if you get pink wine run <laughs> that's fair enough but but anyway so we're gonna do that right let's get on with it well, we've got the fan belts off. That's good news. Now, typical boat life. We have a ton of spanners. And we don't have a 16 mil spanner, which we needed for one of the nuts. And we couldn't find one of our 12 mil spanners, which we needed for another one of the nuts. Now, I have seen mechanics and people on boats rage against the wrench. The adjustable wrench and how it rounds nuts in it is evil. Thank God we had it on board. That's all I can say. Okay, so 
on a scale of one to ten, where one is coolant all over the bilge and ten is not a drop in the bilge, <laughs> how did we do? Maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> It looked a lot easier on YouTube, didn't it? It looked a lot easier on YouTube. Like I, I mean, so I have no idea if that guy had any in the bilge, but I can tell you now, we've got plenty. So we've got the dinghy pump out, we'll suck it all up. Yeah, we've got plenty. <laughs> oh yeah, we've definitely got the one or two drips there. I wouldn't do too, but we did get some in. Um, about a quarter of a thing. Well, yeah, quarter being the operative word. <laughs> oh well, tidy up time. So where's this catch thing you were going on about? I think that thing seems to sit on a bracket. And I don't see anything holding it in place. I think it just pushes ah, up. Ah, right, right, I'm with you. Oh. Woo. Right, it just needs to come out So now. it's just a clip? Yeah, it's, um, you can see here, and it's just this. Oh, I see. And then at the back, you've just got that. Okay, I'll take that up. I suppose you want me to take this off, you know. <laughs> no, I think I can get it through. No, I'll take it out. Okay, go on then. Scratching away with the scrubbing brush, Mrs. Mops. No, we've got these uh, little um, pipe cleaning um, brushes from in our Eberstacker kit. And uh, I'm having to use them because the little bit of information that we really, really need to see is behind a plastic, um, a, an internal plastic um, section. So I've got to go around the back of it and using these um, little brushes that I have in my ever kit. But... On the other hand, I'm a domestic goddess and you may address me as goddess. Oh, I? How come? The Yanmar hose doesn't fit. Sorry, the hose doesn't fit in the Yanmar coolant bottle thing has now been solved. Oh, yeah? Yes. Right, I'll just come and have a look then. Oh, I see you're using a milk bottle. <laughs> it's a perfect fit. Oh, please. <sighs> well, I think the boater's motto should be expect the unexpected. Just when I thought we were ready to be able to go off and go sailing, Gaynor's had an attack of conscience about the stitching on the um, Jenny. She was going to leave it, um, but she's decided that she can't leave it. It has to be fixed. Um, so she's decided to fix it. And like all these jobs, when you start doing it, then you have a closer look at other bits, and all of a sudden you realise that maybe you've got another stitch to fix, and another stitch to fix, and another stitch to fix, and so on and so forth. So it's not like the seal's falling apart. The seal is in good order, but it's going to be in better order now because Gainer's doing what she does up front, stitching stitches. Well, um, my uh, repairing's getting on. Um, you can really see um, here where the stitching's pulled away. Um, there I have the stitching just pulled away and I've just redone the stitching just there and I'm progressing towards this one um, but um, higher up it was really difficult I've got the palm to push um, the needle through but higher up it was very difficult to um, pull it through so <laughs> a pair of um, pliers and I could pull the needle through and um, I was quite scared to be honest um, because it's a sale and it's like a scary thing but I think what Beverly and I are trying to do through these blogs and stuff like that is just overcome our fears <laughs> of all our scared things that we're scared of because eventually we'll be going off and there's going to be nobody else to save us. We've got to be able to do it ourselves. <laughs>